You don't have to write poetry to read poetry, and you don't have to write poetry for poetry to work on your writing. So one of the beautiful things about reading poetry is it, it defamiliarizes language. So oftentimes, as writers, we have habitual ways of using language. Some of them are cliche, some of them are just habitual tics that we have. We describe someone shrugging over and over again in the same kind of way, or we describe the tree outside our window in the same way. And what that does when we, when we are kind of not noticing in new ways is it creates this habit for the reader they'll just like skim over and assume that they already know what you're gonna say that's the true of cliche like he was as big as a house or as strong as an ox like these are cliches that have been you know worked in the beginning but now they don't really say anything new and fresh and the beautiful thing about poetry is poets are always reaching for language to to make it fresh and new so I didn't want to read a whole poem here, but one of the poems that I love is Dead Stars by Ada Limon. And I wanted to emphasize here that when you read poetry, it doesn't have to be like it did it like it was in high school, where you have to figure out the meaning, where you have to figure out what, you know, what this image meant and and the obscure I don't know, associations that your teacher expected you to know. Because that can be really crippling for us. It can kind of put us into freeze mode and we think, oh my God, I don't understand poetry. Poetry is impenetrable to me. But actually, when we read poems, like invite you to find poetry that you like and you enjoy, but it's really about paying attention to language, to the rhythm of the language, to the assonance and the resonance and the way that the poet is using the language and just noticing it and admiring it and then maybe even collecting words from it. So I'm just gonna read this line from Ada Limon's Dead Stars. She says, I am a hearth of spiders, a nest of trying. And I love that line. I don't even really know what a hearth of spiders is, but it feels like this kind of, you know, very uh, alive and kind of creepy space in her being and also a nest of trying. And I'm thinking when I hear the word nest back to the spiders, and I'm also thinking about how futile trying can be and how we can try and try and try our best and um, it feels like crunchy and nothing is able to move and so this poem really calls the poet the the uh, listener to look out to the the cosmos to recognize their own beauty that they're once uh, were once dead stars too so this po this line may not speak to you totally okay but what i'm saying is that your attention to um just reading or giving giving poems your attention can help improve the way that you use and play with language in your stories <laughs>